Hi everyone, Lost Thinny Boy Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Marissa Nadler album, The Path of the Clouds. This is a brand new LP from singer and songwriter Marissa Nadler, her ninth, in fact, in an ever-growing and impressive discography she has been building since the 2000s, and The Path of the Clouds is definitely an interesting addition. For years, Marissa Nadler's artistic bread and butter has been these wintry and very simple folk tunes that cut deep emotionally despite their very meek appearance on the surface. The 2010s mostly saw her experimenting more with backing instrumentation, which resulted in some of her best releases to date, Strangers, as well as July. Things began to get especially heavy and lush on 2018's For My Crimes, which had some highlights on it, but uh, this was easily one of her most scant releases to date in terms of material. There was also also the surprising Drone Flower in 2019 with Steven Brodsky, which saw Nadler bringing her beckoning vocals to droning heavy metal guitars. It's far from perfect, but still an unlikely change of pace that went over pretty well. And now we have The Path of the Clouds, which is easily Nadler's most instrumentally dense solo project to date, featuring these intensely enveloping layers of guitar and vocal and organ and bass, much of which are soaked in these massive reverbs, but not so much to where the songs don't shine through, which is especially important considering how lyrically engaging this record is. Now, to be fair, in Nadler's songwriting, she usually does have a message to convey, but this LP does contain some of my favorite storytelling she's ever done, like in the instance of the opener, Bessie Did You Make It, which is about a story of a couple that went uh, river running in the 1920s and ended up going missing. You can look it up. They were assumed dead, and Nadler essentially tells the tragedy of their story with a focus on Bessie, asking whether or not she ended up making it, surviving, and depicting her as being dragged along by her thrill-seeking husband. It's folk music in the most classic sense, and has me hanging on every line. And of course, the grand, vast, and droning instrumentation in the background just makes the whole thing sound so much more urgent and cinematic, which are qualities that run through a vast majority of the material on this LP. Sometimes to a fault, though, because there are moments where Nadler's very breathy and gentle vocals barely cut through these massive and thick mixes of instrumentation like on the title track. More often than not, though, the vocals have just enough presence to get by, like on Couldn't Have Done the Killing, which is a very gloomy and ominous country number backed with a patient beat and twangy guitars. The whole thing sounds like a dual scene out of a gothic cowboy movie. Lyrically, Nadler tells a tale of murder, but it's kind of obvious that it's uh, in more of a figurative sense. Being made out to be a villain and telling the other person they can leave their weapons at the door. I'm not your killer anymore, talking about about being put in a position that you're not opting to be placed in. Then there's also the fantastic If I Could Breathe Underwater with Mary Lattimore. This track's sound may be a little on the nose, yes, but it does legit sound like I'm being submerged in a giant body of water. The grooves and sparkling tones that underscore the intro of the track almost have a chill wave type quality to them. But the real winner of this track are Marissa's beautiful refrains, which are so wonderful they just completely slice through the haze of this instrumental. Shapeshifter cloud above your door. And I love that melodic change that comes with uh, that organ backing her voice up. Flow! It's a really odd melodic shape, but still entrancing and wonderful. Elegy with Mary Lattimore again, as well as Amber Weber, is a very slow, dirgy piano piece with more themes of separation. Once more, Nadler sings here about being made out to be an enemy, make me so bad that you have to leave. Later we have more strong songwriting and melodies with Storm, with lyrical themes of escape and disappearance. This LP, more than any other that Nadler has dropped in recent memory, is hitting me with all of these uh, Easter eggs. With so many tracks featuring different instrumental palettes and different stories and different narrative angles, but a lot of it's still circling back to change, separating, leaving, vanishing. Some of the instrumental embellishments on Storm are kind of unique too. I love the way the layers build up in such a, a weirdly dissonant way on the chorus. It's not the strongest tune here as the melody is a tad bit repetitive, but Turned Into Air does bring more lyrical themes of shape-shifting. And then And I Dream of Running might be my least favorite on the LP. 
Not really quite sure what this one is doing. It feels more like a jam than a properly calculated song. The vintage 3-4 groove and fills don't exactly, um, you know, match the gothic vibes and aesthetics that are on top of it. And then the blissful and proggy guitar solo on the back end feels like it's uh, coming even further out of nowhere. The finisher Lemon Queen, though, is a nice sentiment to end on, bringing more themes of uh, loss and change. And overall, I found this to be a beautiful record. Not my favorite in Nadler's catalog, but certainly has me excited and waiting for what's going to happen next, considering just how ambitious she is getting with the instrumentation. And the results here are mostly good. Occasionally, yes, it is a little overdone and her voice does come across a bit too buried. But if she continues on this path, uh, I have no doubt that she'll uh, find a better balance into the future. Maybe some more variety sonically as well. Feeling a decent too strong seven on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Marissa Nadler, uh, forever.